Now you can crochet or slip stitch the seam up, but I find that sewing it when we have these ridges gives it a better um, it gives it a better effect because you won't be able to tell, hopefully, that you have joined it at all. So we want to join our short sides together. So we'll just pull this back a bit. See how we have our long piece? We're joining this short side with that short side. So because we need to create the illusion that we haven't joined our piece together and it's just one continuous piece of fabric, we are going to join it, so just join it on the other side there, and we are going to be sewing through the back loops of this front piece and through both loops on the back piece that we are joining. So that's through the back loop. So this is our front loop here. Whoops, that's our front loop, and that's our back loop. And then through both loops, or under both loops, on the back piece. And we want to do this all the way across. And with a bit of luck, this will give the illusion that we haven't even joined it at all. So after we've finished sewing our seam together, we want to sew in our ends and hide them. So just weaving it in and out of the stitches. And you always want to weave in your end about, I would say at least two inches. Because over time it does come out. So at least two inches. I've probably done about four there, but that's okay. Less chance of losing it coming out. So now a beanie is nearly finished. I have turned up the cuff, but now we have a hole in the top of our head, so we need to take care of this. So we need to make our tie. And if any of the neighbours are looking at me right now, they think I've flipped my lid because it's 31 degrees outside and it's hot. And I have a beanie on, but anyway. It's not too hot in the house, so that's alright. So yeah, anyway, need to make our tie around the top. And there are a number of different ways that we can do this. It's looking pretty sexy already. Okay, the easy way to make our tie is just to make a chain. And if you use double yarn, I would recommend using double yarn to make your tie as well. So just basically make a chain. La 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 la, chain, 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 chain. Keep going until we have it long enough. And I'll show you how long you need it after. The other way is to make a I-cord. 